Mr. Strudel, but we couldn't stop the train! Wow, we got into this situation because we goofed. It'd be sad if this place was my hometown. I really wanted to save this town, and I f***ed it up. Sad. Really wanted to save everybody. I felt so bad. Did I not go that way anymore? Dang. I guess I have to go to the Golden Sausage then, huh? I feel so terrible right now. Should I talk to them? They're gonna hate me. We've lost everything. Now we have to start again from one. I feel so bad right now. I hate this. What if we, I... Ah! <laughs> no use just sitting around talking about it. What can we do to get things... I am I feel like the worst person in the world right now. All you guys were relaxing. Shinner troops took the huge materia. I didn't mean to let everybody die. You did your best. And that was good enough for me. Thank y'all. I tried. I'm so sad though. No! I'm so sad. This game is wrecking me. There's probably some kind of redemption arc, right? There's gotta be. If there's not, then I'm gonna be salty. Okay, we're gonna go ahead. Is it this way? I don't even know where I'm going anymore. Wait, we just went this way. This is not the right way. Yeah, this ain't it. So, I think we have to go back. The other way. Boy, this here is Medeal, a quite hot springs town. At least it used to be. Lately, the sea has been in a tizzy. Livestream has been mixing things up at the bottom of the ocean. I think the planet's pretty angry, too. We've pretty much done whatever we wanted to the planet up till now. Well, I mean, I'd be kind of pissed, too, if you had Maka freaking reactors everywhere. What do y'all think? Like, that's kind of... Kind of poopy. <gasps> ah, it's a doggy! Oh, my gosh! I'm gonna steal this from you. Haha. <laughs> Thank you for the free elixir, Pop! Aha! I got a feeling like something bad's gonna happen. Is everything gonna be okay? I'm alright. I've lived a long, full life, but I'm worried about my son and his family living in that far off town. I hope they're safe. Can I have your dog? Can I just have your dog, sir? Please. Give me, give me dog. Give dog! <laughs> give dog! Wait a minute, did you just say something? Yes, I said I want your doggo, please. Oh, don't bark at me like that. I just want to love you. Um. <laughs> You know what? I'm a lady of integrity. I'm gonna own up to this shit. I took it. I took it. I'm sorry. Hey, it's mine now and I'll make good use of it. Believe you, me? What an oddball. We'll let him use it. Oh, sh**. Oh, sh**. It'll help, Pops. Oh, crap. You actually let me have it. What? Yo, she is... What is she taking? I want some of that. Look how, look how energetic she is. Well, the overgrown wind's gonna fall on us, huh? This is no joke. We've got to start stocking up on supplies before they're all gone. Out of the way. Hey, move it, move it. What is she? Hello? What are you? The baby Chocobo is so cute. I love it. I don't want to talk to her no more. So the overgrown, overgrown moon's gonna fall on us, huh? This is no joke. We gotta start hustling. Out of the way, get out of my way. I gotta talk to this guy here. Hold on. Welcome. We always welcome. Yeah. Now about where you want to go? I'm afraid other customers have already booked it up. There's nothing left. Just kidding! Joke. What can I do for you? What is she gonna say? I've huh, never seen you here before. You from out of town? How are things on the outside? Between the earthquakes and the meteor, it just might be the end of the world, like everyone's been saying. How depressing. What a miserable world this is. I agree, it's pretty freaking miserable, but our friends and family make it better, you know? Gather around, gather around! This is a bar again! We've got the best armor and weapons, the likes of which you won't find anywhere else. But it's first come, first serve, so get yours now. Step right up, you there. Don't just stand around outside. Come on in, come on in. Don't be shy, step right up. I'll never know why he wanted to open a store in a dead-end town like this. What's with him? Ah, hi, sir. Everything must come to an end, and someday it's gonna be your turn. The world's gonna end sometime. Everybody goes sometime or another, and everyone gets left too. It's just fate. I think, honestly, it's kind of beautiful that our lives are so finite because it helps us really appreciate every moment, you know? It's sad, but there's nothing that can be done about it, so that's why I'm praying for all of you. Like, if we lived forever, we'd take people for granted, you know? Who says that? Huh? Cloud. I don't understand a word. I'm such a fool. I thought I could do something to help. Uh, 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 what? What number am I? Uh, 
<laughs> when I read this, I just think, damn, are you constipated? <laughs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't be thinking this, but damn, is Cloud constipated? What's going on here? <laughs> this is so well done. I feel really, I feel like I'm very much so immersed in this. Dang it, I passed it. I hate this. It was a coastal city. Oh, I remember this town. It's so pretty. Uh, I remember when I first came in here. It's so gorgeous. I don't remember anything. My brain go burr. My brain is spaghetti. Don't touch my spaghetti, okay? Was it over? I know we did this. Where's Cloud? Was it over here? I think it might have been here, right? Was it here? No, we just went here. I don't know. No, it wasn't here. Dang it. It's no use. I don't understand a thing, Cloud. What should I do? What if you never recover from the rest of your life? <gasps> ah! Coming! They're coming! Lude. <laughs> what did you say, <laughs> Damn, what the hell is going on? Is this like a rave? Are we in a rave? Do you hear it? Do you hear this? Hello? <laughs> What's this? The live stream is gushing up from below the surface of the earth! This is bad! Nothing! You and Cloud get inside quick! But I... Hey, don't worry about a thing. I ain't gotta die. I ain't about to die that easily. Be careful! I don't know what you're talking about. You just saw this. Okay, here I go. Watch this. <laughs> you're the one who saw us. <gasps> Is that a dragon? Oh my god, it's so beautiful. It's a dragon. That's a big daddy dragon up there. That's a big hope a daddy dragonator weapon. Of all the time to show up. Okay then, come on, you big, thick, daddy machaca chaka. <laughs> I can't do this. I can't. All right, I'm gonna try to get them topped off because I know the big attack is coming. Oh my, it's actually really, really bad. Um, oh, all you have to do is survive that? Really, you don't have to fight it? Wow, no matter how many lives I get, it ain't enough. Well, at least the live stream's back to normal. You gotta be kidding! This is bad. The man, the mainstream is kicking up. Something's way bigger than that. It's on its way. No good. Get out of here. But what about Tifa and Cloud? Gosh, dang it! Don't have time to worry about anyone other than yourself. Don't know when that stream will blow. Whoa! No time, hurry! It's about to blow! Tifa, Cloud, get out of here! Uh-oh. Oh god! The tremors are getting worse! Wait a minute, Cloud! Doctor, shouldn't we move him somewhere? Hmm, it might be safer to move to an open area. Don't you worry about a thing, Cloud! I'll see to it that you get somewhere safe! No! The structure can't take it! Hurry! Yes! Run! Oh my god, this is so terrifying! Ready, Cloud! We're leaving now! Ah! Everything about- <gasps> What about the doctor? No! No, this can't be the end. What's going on here? What even? Any 
need to move? What is going on? Where am I? What's happening? I... Where's Cloud? Cloud, where are you? Huh? What? Who? Who is it? I can't hear. Wait a minute. I know nothing about that. No, it's not me. I never do anything like that. You hearing something? No, stop it. Stay back. Somebody help, please. Cloud, help me. Secret wish. Tender feelings that no one can ever know. Is this symbolism for his feelings? What's going on here? Don't doubt yourself, Cloud! I believe in you! Don't be doubting yourself now. Alright, the gates of Nibelheim five years ago, Sephiroth passed through these gates. And that's how it all started. It connects to Nibelheim. That's right, it's probably best to start from there. I'm trying to understand the symbolism here because I really think there's a deeper symbolism here and I want to get it. So is, is this his emotions? Like, is this him processing his emotions? Is that what's going on? And what's going on over here? So is this his memories? His emotions? Is this like fractured part of himself? Is that what we're doing by this? Like, this is his fractured, fractured like mind. So these are his feelings. These are his memories. And what is this? What is this? I do like the symbolism here with the with the memories and the feelings, but I can't figure out the third. I do love how how like I know it gets confusing and convoluted the story does, but I really think there's a reason why. I really think everything needs to be analyzed like deeply. Cuz there's so much to this game. Like there's so much symbolism and I love it. Feelings, memories, and then the third part is the memories is of Sephiroth, right? Let me talk to him one more time. So that, that already shows you that Sephiroth is a part of him. Because we got memories, feelings, and then we got this big, thick memory of Sephiroth right here. So what if, I'm sorry I'm taking so long on this part. So what if this is Cloud struggling? This is Cloud struggling with the darkness with Sephiroth, okay? Hear me out. The darkness with Sephiroth, right? And then Tifa's here trying to save him. So here we have two opposite forces. So we have over there is where Sephiroth is, where the darkness is. And here is Tifa right here, the, the goodness, the light. And then over here we have the memories and the feelings. And he's very confused and he's struggling right here because he's struggling between the light and the darkness, between his feelings and memories. What if that's a theme there? What if that, what if, is that pretty spot on for the symbolism or not? Or am I overthinking it? He's struggling, but Tifa's here to save him and be his light. Let's go have a look, Cloud. I know it's not easy. I'll be here for you. Went for that fax. I'm so glad I got it, though. That is gorgeous. Cloud, look! Here's the well. And that scramps in, too. The only truck in town. 
It's been here since we were little kids, right? This is Nibelheim you remember, right? It's the same as my Nibelheim. That's why this is our Nibelheim. Cloud! Five years ago, two men from Soldier came. Sephiroth and a young and vibrant soldier. Can you tell me again what happened? Butt spot. <gasps> oh my gosh, Sephiroth. Y'all ready for this evil voice? This is this is what I live for. This is what I live for in this game. How does it feel? It's your first time back to your hometown in a long time, right? Five years ago, I saw the real Sephiroth for the very first time. So how does it feel? I wouldn't know because I don't have a hometown. Oh, how about your parents? So this is the great Sephiroth? My mother is Genova. She died right after she gave birth to me. My father! <laughs> what does it matter? But to tell the truth, I thought he was very cold. All right, let's go. I remember foreboding about him. No, Cloud. I've been hiding it for some time, afraid that if I told you something terrible might happen. But I'm not gonna hide anything anymore. You weren't here. Cloud did not come to Nibelheim five years ago. I waited, but Cloud never came. The two that were ordered, there were Sephiroth and another person. All right, let's go. <laughs> Is Zack? You mean that member of Soldier who came with Sephiroth wasn't Cloud? There's nothing I can say. You must find the answer yourself. If you can't, then... Take your time, Cloud, slowly, little by little. You mean that member of Soldier who came with Sephiroth wasn't Cloud? Then who was it? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out the symbolism here. The Surrey Night at the Well and our promises. What are the, so is this all memories? Is this all memories? Because I, I see them bringing up memories. Don't answer too quickly, Cloud. Just keep checking all those small emotions and they'll co it'll come back slowly, little by little. So I want to take a moment to talk about this. I know y'all want me to go further with the story, but this really resonates with me a lot. And I hope y'all don't mind me going through this tangent here, but I know Cloud is like lost because his emotions are like jambled and everything. And she says, just keep checking all those small emotions and they'll come back slowly, little by little. I really, really, really can relate to this right here because I, when I was diagnosed with bipolar depression, I was really, really scared of my emotions at first because they were very overpowering to me. And something that I did to cope with it was I suppressed all my emotions. And when I went to therapy and I was talking to a therapist, she said that, you know, whenever you do get a feeling for something, even the littlest bit, the littlest bit, the smallest of emotion, kind of nurture it and bring it forward so you can feel it more. Because I would always stuff them down and I wouldn't feel them. And I took her advice and I started doing it, but it was really, really hard to do. So like when she's like, just keep checking all those small emotions and it'll come back. Like, it really reminds me of that. So wild, though. I don't know. I don't know if that's too much or TMI. What do you think? Like, the sky that night, the heavens were filled with stars. From the beginning, okay? Try and remember. So she's walking him through his memories. She's the light. She's his light. I was wearing these clothes. That's you too. You were so small, them. And cute. Saffroth once said, Cloud made up his memories by listening to my stories. 
Did you imagine the sky? No, you remembered it. The night the stars were gorgeous. It was just Cloud and I. We talked at the well. That's why I kept thinking you were the real Cloud. I still believe you're the Cloud from Nibelheim. But you don't believe in yourself. These memories aren't enough. Cloud, what about your other memories? No, not memories. A memory is something that is consciously recalled, right? That's why sometimes it can be mistaken or wrong. It's different from a memory locked deep within your heart. That's why it must be fake. If he could recall of that memory... That's it. What about some memory that has to do with me? If I say something, you can't remember it. But if you say something and I remember it, then we'll know that it's a memory. Talk to me about anything, some important memory to you. I don't know if I'm fully understanding this. And when you mention it, why did you want to join Soldier in the first place? I always thought it was a sudden decision. I was devastated I wanted to be noticed. I thought if I got stronger, someone would notice. <laughs> yeah, just punch me further in the feels here. <laughs> why is this so relatable? Why is this so freaking relatable? I'm screaming. <laughs> Can you make, can we make this stop? I, I feel attacked right now, I really do. Someone didn't notice you, who? You? Me, why? Did you forget about those days? Look! I'm sorry, but what are you talking about? No, it's all right, you were having a hard time back then. You're so busy with your own things, it's only natural you don't remember me then. Then? It's important to me, I hate to say it, but it's a very important memory. Do you want to see it? See your wish. No one ever can know. You know where this window goes to? Fine, I'll go. This is so immersive, I can't get over this. What the heck? I feel like I'm being literally sucked in right now. Your room. I remember this. It was my first time there. Was it? I used to look up at it from the outside. Hey, look! Cloud's coming. He wants to come in. Is that the first day you came into my room? That's right. We live next to each other, but I really didn't know you that well. I've known you since we were children and always thought we were close. Now that you mentioned it, I don't recall you ever being in my room. People always used to have their own group. That's right. I thought they were all stupid. What? You were all childish, laughing at every little stupid thing. But we were children then. I know, I was a stupid one. I'm trying not to cry right now because I feel that way. Like I felt that way a lot of my life. So I definitely, I definitely feel that. I started thinking I was different. I was different from those immature kids. But then maybe... Maybe they would invite me in. I thought that might happen, so I hung around. I was so prejudiced and weak. And I asked Tiva to come out to the wall. I thought to myself Tiva would never come, that she hated me. It was so sudden, I was a bit surprised. But, it's true we weren't that close, but after you left town, I really thought about you a lot. I used to wonder how Cloud was doing. 
I wondered if you were able to get into Soldier. I started reading the newspapers thinking I might see an article about you. Thanks, Tifa. Tell him what you told me later. He'll be so happy. Okay. What happened on this day? Was it a special day? This was the day. <sighs> He's his mother. The day that mom died. I want to see mom. I wonder if there's anything beyond that mountain. Mount Nebel is scary. Many people have died there. No one crosses that mountain alive. How about those that died? Did Mama pass through the mountains? I'm going! So sad. It was Cloud! That silhouette was Cloud. Cloud! Always running behind. I don't remember the path I walked. Tifa missed her step. I ran to her, but didn't make it in time. The bell fell off the cliff. Back then, I only scarred my knees, but... We do bring Tifa to a place like this. What the hell's the matter with you? What if she dies? Tifa was a coma for seven days. We all thought she wouldn't make it. If only I could have saved her. I was so angry at myself for my weakness. Ever since then, I felt Tifa blamed me. I went out of control. I'd get into fights with everyone. That was the first time I heard about Sephiroth. I thought if I were strong like Sephiroth, then... If I could just get stronger, then even Tifa would have to notice me. That was it. Sorry, Cloud. If I had only remembered more clearly what happened, I could have done something sooner. It's not his fault, though. Like, I don't... It's not your fault, Tifa. But I remember back when we were eight. That's it. Now I know. You weren't created five years ago. My childhood memories weren't all made up. Hang in there, Cloud. Just a little longer. You're almost found the real you. Let's go back to Nibelheim again. It's like, I think they found him there, so they assumed it was his fault, right? But it wasn't. The truth is, right there, we almost have the answer right in the palm of our hands. Cloud, wait! Where are you going? The reactor! To the reactor, the Maka reactor five years ago. Going on over here. <gasps> no! Not Tifa! I don't know how she survived that. Hey, it's Cloud! No, that's not Cloud. Who is that? Zach! 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 You remembered! What's going on here? That's right, it was Zack who came to Nibelheim with Sephiroth. Then where were you, Cloud? Cloud, did you, did you see it all? Saw everything. I don't know what's real or what's not anymore. I don't understand. What the heck is going on? Damn. I really don't understand what's going on here.
there. Ah, oh, who are you? Tifa, my town. Give it back. I had so much respect for you. I admired you. Who is it? I don't understand. Cloud. Is that Cloud? That's what happened? You were there. You're watching me. Yeah, I remember. He me Allen. This never happens. I kinda wanna see if he's okay. Or it might be someone picking him up. I don't know. I even left my hometown telling everyone I was going... Sorry for the interruption. I was so embarrassed. I didn't want to see anybody. So wait, are Cloud and Zack the same person? Or are they different people? They've got to be different people, right? He was never a soldier? I don't even know what... I don't even know. My mind is right now. Like, I don't even know. How does it feel? That I'm confused? Not good. I don't even know what's going on right now. I don't understand anything. I'm. I'm confused. You came. You kept your promise. Can't pause it. So you really did come when I was in trouble. I didn't get there sooner, sorry. It's all right, Cloud. Just like you. What is on his arm? The hell? What the? I don't even know. I don't even know anymore. What the heck? Cloud, oh, kill Sephiroth. Just like that. Just like that. Okay, is that simple? Just go kill Sephiroth. Sephiroth! Don't push it. It can't be. Ew, it's like, oh, that makes my tummy hurt. Mm. Juggling on his insides like that, that sword, disgusting. Oof. I am really confused. I was connecting the dots a little bit, but now I'm confused. Cloud, just said he never became a soldier, but he said he was a soldier this whole time. So confusing. This is the one that Genova you saw in the Shinra building had no head. Ah, okay. That's Genova's head? Ew. Then this is a goodbye, Tiva, until we meet again. Oh my gosh. What? <laughs> what? I don't even know what's happening anymore. This is so confusing. Is this like symbolic of him coming to terms with who he is? He's putting himself back together. Okay, that's what I figured. That's what that was symbolic of. Ugh. Ah. T 
Tifa. Wow, it's really you, isn't it? Yeah, Tifa, we finally meet again. You stupid jerk! You had us all worried sick! Ugh. Cloud, are you alright? Voice there. I see. We're in the live stream, aren't we? Everyone's waiting. Let's go back, Cloud. Back to everybody. Yeah, I guess so. Come on, Tifa. Let's go home. They saved us! They saved us! Let's go! Yo! You alright, Tifa? Uh... Barrett, you came back! I... Where is he? Don't worry about him. He's a tough one. Barrett, I... When I, when I was in the live stream, I saw the real cloud. I mean, I didn't really find him, Cloud. He found himself. I know. I shouldn't have doubted. But I can't win against you. You're some kind of lady. People have so many things pent up inside of themselves. Why is this so freaking relatable? Oh, my gosh. Like, this game is so psychologically... Mm, I love it. I love it so much. You know, at first, I was really worried about my playthrough because I I noticed with other people's playthroughs, they were very they didn't go too deep with them. But I was like, you know what? This is my playthrough. I'm gonna go deep with it because that's how I am. You know, so many things they can never forget. Strange, isn't it? Yo, Tifa, snap out of it, Tifa! Everyone, I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. I never was in soldier. I made up the story about what happened five years ago and my being in Soldier. I left my village looking for glory, but never made it into Soldier. I was so ashamed of being so weak. Then I heard the story from my friend Zach, and I created an illustration of myself made up of what I had seen in my life. And I continued to play the, the charade as if it were true. Illusion, huh? Pretty strong of an illusion. Physically, I'm built like someone in Soldier. Hojo's plan to clone Sephiroth wasn't that difficult. It was just the same procedure they use when creating numbers of Soldier. So he's a clone? You see, someone in Soldier isn't simply exposed to Mako energy. Their bodies are actually injected with Genova cells. For better or worse, only the strong can enter Soldier. It has nothing to do with the Genova reunion. But weak people like me get lost in the whole thing. The combination of Genova self, Sephiroth's strong will, and my own weaknesses are what created me. Let's see. Everyone knew that. I'm Cloud. The master of my own illusionary world. But I can't remain trapped in an illusion anymore. I'm going to live my life without pretending. You're sure messed up, Cloud. I really, really, really... Cloud is has started to grow on me because Cloud is so human too. Like, he's, he's just so human. It is messed up, you know, but I think everybody has an aspect of themselves that is flawed, right? That would, you know, I don't know. I don't know if that makes sense. We all have our own things we're going through. And Cloud, Cloud resembles that really well, right? Like, he's, go he's going through his own things. He's struggling, but he's trying his best. And I appreciate him for that. Like, yeah, it was messed up that he lied. But I can understand why he lied. He was embarrassed, you know? I can, I can respect that. I think this is a really good example of dealing with ego, right? Like, ego and pride, in a sense. Like, everybody has an ego. Everything has, has things that they're ashamed of. Everything, everybody has things that they're proud of. I think this is a really good demonstration of ego, right? If you think about it. That means he ain't no different from before. By the way, Cloud, what are you going to do now? Did I click back in or is there just no sound? Don't tell me you're going to leave the ship. I'm the reason why Meteor is falling towards us. That's why I have to do everything in my power to fight this thing. 
Good, then you're gonna keep fighting to save the planet. It's like you always told me, Barrett. Oh, uh, you mean that? What? I don't understand. There ain't no getting off this train. That's really cool how they like forgave him despite him lying, you know? Glad I was deeply moved by your story. I'm really a weak person, so I could really understand how you feel. No one knows when fighting will begin, but let's get ready. Wow, listen, Cloud! We're right in the middle of the mission for the huge material, right? I know this is kind of out of the blue, but Janet is an underwater reactor. Wow! As far as I can see, that's the only one left. That's that. Let's go! Wow! Oh, we need to go to Junan? Where's Junan again? I don't even remember where that is. Thank you. 